it's uh maybe they're not being as subtle in this in this uh game as as we're we're thinking. Thomas O'Neill we know that he like he's he's pretty clearly a murderer. Right you are. Now tell the court, why did Thomas O'Neill kill the lions? Okay. Oh! <laughs> Okay, so, so so Oldenburg, Germany. These are the jewels that we were suspecting that they were smuggling through. Good work. Now for Thomas O'Neill's accomplices. I am told that there are two other criminals involved in this case. Please inform the court as to their respective identities. Do remember, you can choose only one at a time. But don't worry. I will inform you if you make an inaccurate choice. Okay. So... Are we going to say that Derek Quinn is an accomplice? Oh yeah, I guess Derek Quinn wouldn't really be an accomplice. Yeah, okay, well, I mean, let's I think I think Barry's pretty we're pretty doggone sure Barry's in on it. Why, why didn't they let me select uh, Barry? It would appear as though you have not spent near enough time investigating this case. I advise you to do a much more thorough job before you return. What? Okay, so... <laughs> oh, 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 oh. I thought it didn't register it at first. Uh, hear ye, hear ye. The Queen's Court stands in order. Okay. So... O'Neill, Thomas O'Neill, criminal. Right you are. Now tell the court, why did Thomas O'Neill kill the lions? The jewels. Good work. Now for Thomas O'Neill's... Okay. So we're going to say that Barry O'Neill and Quinn
it would appear as though you had not spent near enough time investigating this case. I advise you to do a much more thorough job before you return. Okay, okay, okay. Oh my god, this is so hard. Well, yeah, yeah. So he's a tonic salesman and and it was it was Thomas's fault for for overdosing it. That does that doesn't make Quinn a, a criminal. Here ye. Okay. So Thomas O'Neill. Right. He did it for the jewels. Good work. Uh his accomplices were Lyons himself. Oh, whoops. Uh. And uh and Barry, right? It appears you've been doing your homework on this case. Now then, what role did Barry O'Neill play in the crime? I mean, th this would, this must be it, right? Because no one else could have done this job. Yeah. Quite so. Now tell us, what essential role did Stephen Lyons play in this crime? I thought the brothers were the lock pickers. Excellent deduction. Now tell us who murdered Stephen Lyons? That was Thomas, right? Yeah. Because they were at the bar together. Good show. But do tell the court just how Thomas O'Neill did the foul deed. Oh, yeah, yeah. 
And that's why the bartender wouldn't have known Thomas, because he was never in town. Uh, okay. Uh, okay. No, it's it's B. We know that. What a ruthless chap, that O'Neill. Uh, seems to have all kinds of blood on his hands. Now tell me, why did he kill Stephen Lyons? Well, this was our going, uh, our going theory that he just wanted him out of the way. Um, although Lyons might have been wanting to keep the jewels so that way he could pay off his debts and then um, buy his own boat. All right, but this seems this seems a bit more simple. Double crossed. Now there's a tale that lions didn't live to tell. Good show. You've done a most satisfactory job on this case. Court is recessed. Until the next time, of course. My word, dear Holmes, perhaps we are in the wrong business altogether. If we had been top-notch, we should have cracked this case in less points. I think I'll ring up the university immediately and see if we might enroll in a detective course. So wait, are... <laughs> oh, that was fun. Well, thanks, guys. Right this way, Inspector. I'm a busy man, Holmes. I don't have time to be traipsing about London at your beck and call. Now, why have you called me here? To help you with this case. Oh, yeah? How? by solving the double murders of Lyons and Lyons. Uh, you know who killed the beast and the chap on St. George's Road? Yes, and I think you'll be very interested in learning why the deed was done. Go on, then. I'm listening. As you must recall, Inspector, five months ago, Thomas O'Neill, a jewel thief, escaped a London police search. Uh, we almost had him. Almost, apparently, was not good enough. Less than three months later, he was detained in Germany in connection with the stolen jewels of the Duchess of Oldenburg. Although the theft was similar to O'Neill's style, they found no evidence to hold him. Uh, what has all this to do with dead lions? I was just coming to that, Inspector. At the same time as the Duchess's jewels disappeared, Roy Slade's wild animal show finished its German tour. Barry O'Neill, brother of Thomas, happens to be the lion tamer for the troupe. Could Thomas have used Barry O'Neill's lions to smuggle the jewels into London? Excellent hypothesis, Watson. I see you are learning. Oh, thank you, Holmes. Uh, but uh, where did he put the jewels? <laughs> Behind the lion's back molars? No need for anything as deep-seated as that. Leather collars with pouches did the trick. But if the lion tamer put the pouches on, why did Thomas O'Neill have to kill the lions to get them off? Oh, I know that one. Because Barry O'Neill was in hospital with two broken legs. Right you are, Watson. And that's why Thomas had to solicit the help of Stephen Lyons. Without a key to the cage, he needed the services of an expert lock picker oh. like Lyons. Then who killed Lyons? You mean the animals or the man? The man, Thomas O'Neill, so that he wouldn't have to pay for the lock picker's services. You know, Holmes, the fracture that Barry O'Neill suffered would have mended in four weeks. If Thomas would have had some patience, he would have been able to get his jewels back without any complications. Ah, yes, Watson, patience is a virtue. Unfortunately, it seldom comes hand in hand with stealing and murder. Having spoken with Barry O'Neill, I can't believe he'd be a party to the killing of his own lions. I don't believe he was. 
That wasn't part of the original plan. I've got to hand it to you, Holmes. You've done a fine job on a most difficult case. Thank you, Inspector. But it really was elementary. One more thing, Holmes. Inspector? We know in the case of Mr. Lyon's death that the murder weapon was poison. Wherever did Thomas O'Neill get it? Derek Quinn, Vipers Unlimited. I certainly am glad that this case is shut. But there is one thing that I'm not certain of. Yes? Who did leave the note on our doorstep in the first place? Elementary, Mary O'Neill. The lion tamer's missus? I believe she'd had her fill of circus life and was ready to settle down. When she suspected Thomas O'Neill and her husband were involved in jewel thieving, she knew it was time to get out. Holmes, you are simply amazing. Good job, everyone.